Hey guys, I wanted to bring you another video of the Niners and the Redskins at Levi Stadium and just wanted to recap and review. So, the Niners had three interceptions, or actually, sorry, three turnovers, and that should have most teams would be the dagger and decide the game. Um, but luckily, the Niners' defense was actually keeping it together and close. Uh, this could have been, if you're facing a better team than the Washington Redskins, you would have probably had a more competitive game and a blown out, actually, in that sense. Because, in this sense, it was competitive, even though um, it should have not been. So, to explain that and reiterate... Um, if the Redskins were a better team, they would have uh, probably blown this team out in, because of the three turnovers. But because the Niners has a good defense and had the three turnovers and the Redskins are not that great, it made it a competitive game just like last week with the Giants. Same thing. Uh, starting to see a little bit of a trend which is not good going to the Thanksgiving game against the Seattle Seahawks who also won today, both tied for the second place of the A NFC West. Um, and Arizona lost, so that's two losses right there. They could cut the gap soon. Um, it's starting tightening up. It's two ga uh, games lead. So it's not over yet, guys. There could be a collapse, but we're not sure. Arizona's um, schedule is going to be tough a little bit down the stretch, too, if you look at it. So... Here's the thing, all these teams will have a tough stretch uh, down the end, but it is manageable for most of these teams to win, but they're going to be facing some against each other. So it will be interesting to see down the stretch how they're going to play this out. And this is a game that could have been a trap game for the San Francisco 49ers. From watching outside, you could see Jay Gruden and Robert Griffin III fighting uh, in the media and you just thought, oh, okay, we should be able to get this game easily. As fans, everybody, you could look on the outside, hey, as an NFL person, you're going to see these guys are dysfunctional right now. They don't even get along right now. How is this going to work long term? And, uh, and they said also, Jay Gruden stated, he's on short leash. If he struggles, they will not hesitate to pull him out. So, uh, Robert Griffin didn't play amazing or anything like that, but they kept him in. So, I don't know if that's to try and motivate him, scare him, but it didn't work. Um, in that sense, Alfred Morris actually played well. Their defense actually played well, um, surprisingly, but the Niners' offense is awful. Um it's just really, really awful. I, I just can't put my... I would say the offensive coordinator is still not playing very... Uh, like, calling the game too conservative or something, but something's not right with this offense. You have a stellar defense that's playing really well and still not gaining a bigger lead or a bigger gap or something. I'm telling you, you cannot pull this against Seattle Seahawks next week. Uh, uh, Especially when you go up to Seattle, I'm already going. To, I'm, I'm, I might already chalk it up. I'm going to say the Niners need to win this Thursday to keep this race going because I anticipate they're going to lose to uh, Seattle. And here's the other thing: if they win this Thursday's game against Seattle, when they play the sandwich game in between, is actually the Oakland Raiders. That could be a potential trap game. And uh, at, at first, I wanted to say, and, and I might do a separate video on this, because this is the Battle of the Bay. If you live out here, you would know, um, and, and also NFL fans, you would know the kind of bad blood between these two teams, even though they're not technically in the same division. If, if you guys didn't know, um, just to give you a little history, also quick history, the uh, the NFL no longer allows the Raiders and the Niners play each other in the preseason because of the last outing that they had. There was a killing. Just letting you know, you can look it up if you want. But 
So that's the thing you have to realize that this could be if if the Raiders did not get their first win against the Chiefs this past week, they would have looked and circled that game against the Niners as their potential Super Bowl. So just giving you that heads up because the Niners, I I I feel like, and I'm not sure if I'm ready to call it yet. It's going to depend on this Thursday's game. I would not be surprised, or but I'm just gotta see how things lead up to this upcoming game against uh, and see how the Raiders play too. So I'm just telling you this could be a interesting week going into how these next three weeks will go into for the Niners and Seattle Seahawks. Redskins, I don't know. I, I could see that RG3 could be benched and be called for by Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy actually did really well for this offense. Um, and, and that's the thing was very interesting. I feel like I wonder if Daniel Schneider is telling RG3 needs to start and see what they have in him. I would be surprised next season if they're going to keep him um, as a starter. I think they will maybe try to keep him around maybe one more season to see. Um, but if they stink so bad, they might be able to get Mariota. We're not sure. We'll see how the draft pans out. But this is a game that in uh, statistical analysis every time, if you have uh, the turnover battles, the Niners technically should have lost this game. I'll admit it. They should have lost this game. Um, if the Redskins put together a couple drives, they would have won. And if they got a couple more points or something like that, it just, that's how close it could have been. Um, Colin Kaepernick put together a good drive for the last fourth quarter. It really helped win the game. So, Bolden played his um, really good game uh, with a tough catch, too, against Ryan Clark. So, hopefully you like this video. Go ahead and share it with other people. Subscribe and, and to help support this channel and get more news and any reviews and anything related to it. Thanks.